Hey, Internet World, this is Scarecrow with Red Dirt Welding. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been on. I've uh, been uh, kind of super busy, and with everything the, the world is, just don't really have time to be posting stuff and, and editing. Um, took a little change in direction, doing a lot more hay work now than, than uh, welding and stuff like that, but uh, still doing it here and there. And, and uh, today I'm going to be giving you a little uh, unboxing of this, uh, this M18 Milwaukee kit. Uh, this is the uh, the chainsaw and they had a little special going on that uh, you get a free uh, the free Milwaukee uh, M18 blower with it so uh, this is the high output uh, version I believe it's the 12 amp hour battery comes in here a charger and all that stuff so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be unboxing it see all what you get and uh, testing it out in a little bit so here we go some of the uh, some of the features on on this is uh, it um, this is for the uh, I believe it's the 12 oh there it is uh, yes yeah, high output 12 amp battery is what comes with this uh, with that it does 156 by 6 cedar cuts is what it claims to do faster than gas um, up to four pounds lighter and um I believe there was something about the the noise too on here or something like that i was reading uh, obviously it's gonna be quieter than a uh, gas powered chainsaw so let's uh let's get into here and uh and see what we've got start with the little tiny package that they uh that they give you in here i don't know what's in here feels like nothing and sure enough an empty box not for sure what's supposed to be in there or what is in there uh this is the uh the chainsaw here take it out of the cardboard get their uh, their basic um, their basic uh, charger this is the uh, the one that does I believe this is the rapid charger uh, yes rapid charger is the one that does uh, m18 and m12 together uh, just a very basic charger you get it pretty much in uh, in all their uh, in all their kits their m18 kits especially so Sure, this is the battery. This is the M18 Red Lithium High Output Heavy Duty 12 Amp Hour Battery. Um, to be honest with you, with this big old brick, it is actually pretty. Uh, Pretty light. I do have a bunch of their uh, their uh, five amp hour batteries, and uh, this isn't really that much more heavier than uh, than the fives. So um, not that big of a deal on on weight. I would not want to put this behind a screw gun and screw on a roof all day long, though. But it would be uh, it would get to you. I'm sure of it. That's good for it. <clears throat> All right, now the uh, chainsaw, Milwaukee Fuel brushless motor, 16 inch, uh, 16 inch bar on it. it has the uh, the cutting um, the dogs on here or whatever you call these things. I forget what they call them, but this is metal, so that's good. I know some of the some of the cheaper uh, cheaper ones they're just little nubs that are that are plastic and all that stuff but uh this one is metal chain brake that's good um pretty pretty easy to to operate it has a little button right here the safety button you can operate that with your with your thumb and then pull it so that's uh 
that's pretty convenient nothing up here i know some places they uh some chainsaws and stuff like that they have a two point um you have to grab up here and up here in order to start it but this is just a little flick of the of your thumb and then uh uh, flip the switch chain oil i was looking at uh one of the chainsaws at walmart the other day it doesn't even require chain oil so i don't know how good those are but uh, don't know what the capacity is on on that but it does have chain oil has a um has a little tool right here your squ squinch not for sure how to get that out there it goes, just pops out. You need a tool to get to the tool. Little tiny, uh, little tiny flathead screwdriver and uh, and your little um, socket to uh, adjust the bar. So that's uh, that's pretty neat right there. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Your cover. And this ain't uh this ain't too heavy uh of course obviously the battery's not in it but uh you know compared to your cheap saws your pulons and stuff like that this is pretty much equivalent to uh equivalent to that weight all right this isn't even charged it's got one uh one uh one bar on it so but uh it is a little bit heavier than than a steel uh, but it is pretty balanced so that that's pretty nice yeah it's not even gonna turn on um hang on has a uh, has immediate throttle response And it's a variable, so you can go, you can go slow or fast. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna get this uh, this battery charged up, and uh, and do a couple cuts, see exactly how fast it is. Uh, other thing about this uh, this saw is it's a uh, it's a full tooth chain. It's not a skip or anything like that. So. Uh, every uh every single uh link of chain has a has a cutter on it so that's uh that's good right there so let's open up the uh the blower real quick this is the m18 um Milwaukee blower. You had uh, you get this free when you buy the uh, chainsaw kit, or at least right now they have a deal going on, so it's not always like that. And this is just in a generic package; doesn't even have a have any specs on it or anything like that. So uh, it's pretty light. It is a fuel, so it's brushless also. I believe I read somewhere it does about 140 mile per hour winds or something like that. I don't don't quote me on all that. Snaps into place. So, it is extremely light. That's a uh, Pretty much just nothing but plastic. Uh, the battery weighs more than this whole machine, so. Uh, not too balanced with the battery on it. Uh, it's pretty heavy in the back, you can feel that. Does have a little, uh, pretty much the same switch, just a little little button right here you flick with your, flick with your thumb and, and you can start it, so that's good. Has a little, uh, oh it has two speeds, turtle turtle and rabbit so uh let's see what it does real quick that's turtle oh it also locks itself into place oh that's not the safety that's the lock all right you can start it without the safety 
Locks it into play. Yeah. Turtle really don't do nothing. Let's see what Rabbit does. Most definitely not compared to a uh, to a backpack blower, but this thing does put out some pretty good uh, air. I would say most definitely more air than a uh, than a corded um, cheap one that you get at Walmart or Harbor Freight or something like that. Uh, it does put out quite a bit of air. So uh, there's your M18 Milwaukee fuel um, blower. Uh, M18 Milwaukee fuel chainsaw. I'm gonna charge this battery up, get some bar oil for this guy, and uh, we're gonna do a couple cuts and see what it does. All right, guys, I got the uh, 12 amp uh, hour battery charging on the uh, on the charger. I have a I have a five amp that I just put in here that was freshly charged. Filled it up with bar oil. It said to uh, run it for uh, 30 seconds before you actually use it. So we already ran it for uh, for 30 seconds. But I just want to uh, point something out real quick um, on this uh, on this saw and on most of your uh, most of your uh, saws and your newer saws and your newer newer bars on the uh, end right here. There's a little tiny hole. Uh, it's on both sides. This one's on the high side. This one's on the on the low side. And uh, they make a uh, grease gun for it. This is a little um, push push uh, button or pu whatever you want to call it, push type of uh, grease gun. You stick it in that hole, you pump it, and uh, it puts grease on that on the end of that sprocket. And eventually, it will lube up the uh, uh, the whole uh, whole bar. It will save your bar, save a lot of wear and tear. A lot of times, this chain will will ride in there and uh, will wallow out the the gap in there. And uh, be really loose that will cause you to cut crooked and stuff like that so uh, pick this one up at tractor supply I think it was five or six bucks they have them at a uh, northern tool and uh, and a lot of different other places you can order them on Amazon these are actually pretty pretty common and they're pretty cheap so uh, going to uh, gonna open this up right now and uh, fill this uh, in sprocket up with uh, grease and uh, I'll show you uh, show you what I'm talking about in a minute all right, guys. There's the uh, there's the hole right there on the on the end with the sprocket, um, right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, this uh, grease pin right here. You're just going to stick it down into that hole, and you're going to push down, and it's going to inject that uh, inject that grease in there. The uh, this oh, we're over here. So there you can see a little bit of grease. I'm trying to do the best I can. I can't. Uh, can't see with the sun, but uh, you can already see it coming out. Uh, the sun's killing me, guys. All right, you can already see it coming out right there on the sprocket. So uh, it's uh, it's got grease in it. So uh, there's one on the other side too. Uh, it's coming out on on that side too, so uh, I'm gonna do a quick cut with this uh, five amp, and then once the 12 amp uh, gets fully charged, we're gonna cut the same log and uh, see if there's a difference in batteries and see how it works. All right, guys, this is the log that we're gonna be uh, doing some uh, test cuts on. Uh, it's uh, not perfectly round, but the uh, the length of it is about 18 inches, uh, as you can see right there. Uh, up and down with the bark and everything it's it's about 14 so about 14 by uh by 18 there is what we're going to be uh be cutting so i'm gonna do a test cut real quick with the five amp and then uh and then switch right, it guys over. just to uh just to remeasure this because the sun was in my eyes i couldn't uh, or it's on the camera i can't really see what i was filming but you got uh you got 18 inches right there and from from top to bottom it is about actually it's about 15 inches right there so uh, we're gonna do a test cut real quick <clears throat> and uh, see how fast it uh, how fast it cuts through all this all right here we go
I'm not for sure how uh, how long that was. You'd have to uh, count the minutes on the uh, on the video there. But this thing was like butter. I mean, you can let me take you right here. You can see the uh, the wood chips. The wood chips right there. I mean, it's just. All right, here we go. You can just see the, the big old wood chips just coming out of there. I mean, it, it sliced through there like butter. This is dry wood. Uh, it's been uh, dead for for a, a couple months now. Well, I mean, it's it's not green, but, you know, it's it's de it been dead. So, um, but it sliced right through there like butter. So, I'm going to trim some of this tree up while we uh, wait for the other battery to charge. But I'm going to leave this stump right here and... Uh, and see what the other one does but I, I don't really see a big improvement i mean this thing went through it like like crazy so well after about halfway uh halfway done with this tree uh the five amp um it petered out um uh, used it all up uh left the uh left the big stuff but it trimmed up all all the little stuff um and uh and you know it started started getting into the big stuff and then it was it was done uh i don't know exactly how long i would say probably about 45 minutes i guess of uh of stop and go cutting not nothing continuous i would cut a couple branches and then and then stack them as you can see uh cut a couple bigger logs and then uh and then put them over there so uh um and there's a bunch of logs over here too that i cut all up so it uh you know i would say about 45 minutes is, is what it what it would go stopping and, and cutting and i'm going to check on the uh check on the big battery see if it's charged and and we're gonna uh make another cut on this end right here all right guys all right guys i got the uh battery fully charged um i did not use the new charger i used mine it's the same exact one but it is about three four years old the, the charger um it took uh three and a half hours to charge this battery uh to full capacity so um, I don't know if the new charger, if it has better technology or, or what, um, if it will charge it faster or, or not, but, uh, and this battery was, uh, completely dead when I was hitting the, uh, almost completely dead when I was hitting the light, the first bar only came on and it started blinking. Although you did see me run the, the saw and everything. This is also the first charge on it. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but three and a half hours to, uh, to charge this battery. We're going to, uh, cut this, uh, piece of log right here and, uh, we're going to call it a day cause it's already getting late. All right, here we go. Now this log is the split right here, so I was cutting into a into another piece uh but you know this thing is just a hoss even even with the uh, small battery that i was using earlier it is just a hoss i mean just look at them wood chips just flying out Look at this cut three different cuts and and uh how fast it uh it cut it right there i mean just you're not even easy to get to so 
Hey guys, once again, this is Scarecrow with Red Dirt Welding. Um, doing a lot more than just welding nowadays, so, uh, you know, hopefully I can get back on here and start making uh, some videos again and stuff like this. But this is the uh, M18 Milwaukee Fuel uh, Chainsaw. Uh, once again, it's a Haas 12-amp-hour uh, battery in it. I don't know how long it could cut. The 5-amp-hour cut for about 45 minutes on and off, so, you know, no telling what this guy can do. Um... You know, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, guys, God bless. Take, take care.